So I, I put the video on because we were just discussing about rehearsals mm. in the car and um, talking about how, because Danny's doing a TV job and I'm doing a theatre job at the moment and how we're sort of always taught to, especially in theatre, to sort of know what you're doing yeah. before you go in. And, and there is definitely a difference in the US and the, U the UK um, of what is sort of required of you. Um, because in the US people sort of just go in with their final performance a lot of the time I find. Um, but with the UK we have enough rehearsal time to to learn it in rehearsals and yeah. to d discover it in rehearsals and progress. Whereas you, what were you just saying? Then, uh, I was just saying that obviously with um, with filming, well, from what I've discovered so far, I'm sure there's some people that rehearse a lot more, directors that rehearse a lot more pre filming but um, I've discovered that just with filming you pretty much need to go in not with the finished article but you need to go in with everything learned down pat you know what I mean so that I suppose if your director comes to you and asks you to for changes you can readily make those changes because you're existing with the full knowledge of the script you know in in your brain and then you're able to just make changes whereas with theatre so I, I was just saying to someone I came to the realization a long time ago that <clears throat> Of course, before you step in the rehearsal room, you need to have like a an overall knowledge of the whole story. You need to have read the script a bunch of times and and, and be aware. And also of what's worked going. out a few bits about your character. Yes, of course. And, and I think you need to be aware are. of the script, like and and you know and understand what it is you're supposed to be saying and blah blah blah. blah. But I don't think you need to know it um, inside out, back to front and sideways, like you do for if you're filming mm. um, because that you don't said, have no also, time and everything costs a fortune you know what I mean when you're filming whereas in a theatre in, in, a, in a rehearsal room for theatre it doesn't maybe cost quite as much it's still expensive mm. obviously for, for the production mm. team but. but also another thing another thing that we could say is that everyone works differently yeah. so if you do feel that you need to have that prepped that work prepped before mm. then obviously do that and if you feel you need to know it inside out and back to front then that's also fine but yeah. but I think taking off the pressure yes. of yourself to know exactly how it's going to be is yeah. a really good idea so I've always, I've always just saying was that um, in, a, in, a, in a rehearsal room I think it's really nice that you have like you, she was Summer's doing the ROC at the minute and I think it's really nice that you can go in a rehearsal room in theatre and you know work really hard all day from whatever it is you're doing say 10 30 till 6 30 at the moment aren't you? Mm. and like work your absolute tush off but then when you leave leave it at the rehearsal room do you know what i mean don't go home and stress go home like we went to cinema went to dinner mm. had a, a couple of drinks and stuff and, mm. and like have your life outside of mm. work because i think some people don't manage to quite do that mm. and then it, it becomes this all-consuming thing and it doesn't need to be an all-consuming thing does no. it really well and you also have time on your travel time to go you know to go over stuff that is like musical stuff or you know if you've if you've recorded um your lines you know your your soprano alto bass tenor line um if you've done that then you can just listen to it and be familiar with it um but rehearsal is for rehearsing yeah. practicing yeah. so don't worry yeah but anyway that was just our musings for today so i thought mm. i'd put that on sending you all love yeah i really need a shower look at the state of the air you're gorgeous Barnet. goodbye have a good day